Hello guys, I'm Cameron from Graphics Grunts and today I'm going to be teaching you is about how to change the eye color of a picture. I'm just going with some basic picture editing tips this time. Um, I'm sure going to be on the video soon. So today, I know many of you will know it, but still, I've got some basic and yet more advanced techniques that look great. Alright, so I'm going to be starting out with this picture of a blonde, so let's go and first you have to select a new layer and that will be an adjustment layer so you've got it above your this foot uh, this footage layer so now you have to do is to create a mask around the eye the more you zoom in the more clear mask you can make so that will be pretty good go with short segments and um, just create a complete circle or whatever semicircle it is just go for it and make sure you have a pretty good picture and there you have got many problems so just create the more you can make that it doesn't look bad you'll take care of it later so these here are really troublesome pain in the ass but still we have to do something about these so I've got this basic setup the basic mask setup of this eye you can see it like this it looks pretty good now I'm going for effects color correction and curves to change the color you can also add glow that I'll show you right now so I'm gonna increase red in it and it's gonna look like this but still there is some problem the edges are too sharp when someone will just zoom in and he will see oh my god what's happening so what we have to do is to select your adjustment layer and go to masks and feather just do it a little bit of feather like five this is the most recommended by me because it works well it looks well when someone goes in and it's just fine but if you will go with more the effect will just go over or you will get a simple just a tintish look tintish color on it and you can just tweak it to in order to get your taste I'm sorry um, to get your taste on it you, you want to go with some little bit of it yet you can but um, oh god it was uh, it will spread out a bit so you can just lessen the mask extension or tweak up with the opacity to do that so this is just a simple thing you can just change the color right here maybe green this time or purple for evilish look let me just do it to five. Whoa. This is evil. Evil blown. Alright. So, let's take this to zero so that we're on the thing to go. And now I'm going to be showing you is how to glow this thing. We know that where we have the glow is generate. No, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. That will be. Um, stylize oh I'm sorry and glow so now you have to do is to select the color I'm gonna be selecting a red as a great color and the color B will be something like blue and both are dark to show some kind of evil and uh, oh now you can see the glow inside I'm sorry come on you're freaking me out you can see the glow in the eyes and it looks pretty pretty realistic like some fantasy type thing you can change it tweak it a little bit um, make it more it will look really unrealistic and less just as you want it to be the glow radius could be increased but that's just gonna destroy your image so you have to be more specific about what you have to do and you can change the colors every time you want to green maybe and uh, just tweaking it out to get the white colors and lesser glow radius so you can get some kind of glow right here and it will look great so now I'm gonna be going to another image and gonna be showing you what's happening with that so another image is right here and this is rather tintish I mean this is a tilted image so I'm gonna be doing is alright I just have to put it into composition 
And there you go with this. This is another girl looking like an evil horror girl. So let's go. Let's do this stuff again. Adjustment layer and effects, color correction. Uh, maybe. No, wait. First, we have to create a mask. Let's close. All right. So the problem is there uh, is a bunch of hair in front of her eye. So what we have to do is to be more careful while doing it that we are not ruining all the effect. So what we have to do is to go is to make two half masks so as to cover all the effect. You have to tweak whenever you think it's necessary to. So right, all right. That looks nice to me now. So there you go. And boom, voila. It's good. I've got the mask and it pretty much looks like the hair is not covered in it. So now go for effect, color correction and curves. And now you can go for something like a red color evil one. Okay. And just go for the mask and just using the shortcut key. I know that you will know it. So just make it maybe seven will be a greater one and a much nicer one and from here just do seven and you've got a nice look right here but still you can do some more things you can add some glow to it or maybe um, you can just go for some other effects in the color correction and that could be exposure maybe you can expose it a lot bit and it will look like glowing hot yeah that looks evil to me all right or maybe you can just lessen it maybe a bit to make it look more horror that just depends on your flavor on your touch that you want to do with your pictures I advise you to try it many times and you can do more specific things that you want to do so guys that was all for today it's really great really great to teach all of you guys how to do this cool stuff and I just want you to support me to subscribe to my channel and make my channel bigger so every like will be really appreciated next time meet you guys till then goodbye